so that motivated me that time mm -hmm. and if that motivation kept me then my motivation for coming to almost what trust is the condition of people the condition of poor uh, lot of the country the in uh, pakistan when i was working in pakistan bethel mall because i was working in very diverse field where people needing financial help where people needing educational help where people needing medical help so all these three spheres i worked and this program that uh, you see bain azeer income support program it was actually started as a food support program mm -hmm. at the time of pervez musharraf and i was the one that very time associated with it we evolved it with dr atiya natulla mm -hmm. and then we prepared a 2 million household data of poor of the country and that was absolutely a fine data i filtered over over a period of time said so all riff raff gets out of it and uh, non poor they are not there and they don't uh, and i punished people those who selected non peers amazingly i was not fearful of any politicians i had no clout of that sort that could uh, force me to select a wealthy person for such like dispensations so that data uh, collected that made it uh, eventually it was expanded into i have been coming to world bank to getting that uh, that project was fully conceived by us and uh, prepared programmed everything done and at that time people parties government came and they named it benzir income support program serving in the army leading such a big organization and now promoting and doing amazing things for al mustafa trust in one sentence what gave you the most satisfaction in your life the memorable days in my life are very few i initially wherever you go you should work wajahidu fillahi akka jihadi with that spirit you should go the 71 war i fought i led two attacks through mine fields only remembering allah and my first thing was when i captured an objective munawwar post in uh, chamsalient it was the fajr time it was the prayer time the shells were falling on us we had captured the objective the first thing i did i group of people around me the group of soldiers around me i took them to the height there was an empty small room the enemy had kept some targets in that we cleaned that he said i told one of my soldier to call azan he gave azan and we said our prayers under the so that was memorable occasions when then when you feel so happy allah you blessed us with the success then we conquered area up to the vartavi and we went across also alhamdulillah then thereafter i told you in kashmir i served mm -hmm. it always bothered me why we can capture these posts even during peace time i told my general once one day he said wherever i go i feel that indian they, they have taken this post for us from us during peace time on eid holidays are people you know callously they vacated the positions they are they were weak on that political uh, particular position so they captured it i said we can also do it it was winter and i was told and through that winter the indian abandoned three of these posts they normally used because of heavy snow in that area kill you know you are from kashmir so we prepared the dug the four trenches and we did those posts captured and set on that thereafter they attacked thrice even uh, four times but they could not because they had to come from the lower ground on the upper ground i said my general asked me would you vacate that mecca over my dead body if i vacate them and alhamdulillah those are still with us we had a 30000 square meter area to the, and my brigade got 11 awards and i also got star awards within that 
So with the same spirit coming to Beth al-Mal and keeping Allah in front of me and Allah's guidance because I look for whatever I am not getting the because فَسَلُوا عَلَى الْذِكْرِ إِن كُنْتُمْ دَا تَعْلَمُونَ When you don't find anything, go to the ayah of zikr. They will tell you what is the correct thing to do. What is the guidance on a particular issue. So with the same spirit, I did this work of Al-Bus Muthwater because I believed in excellence in doing a work. The same excellence came in with my humility and prayer to Allah. I put the things right. 350 corrupt elements from Bethel Mal, I threw them out. But I feel so sorry when a political regime came, they brought them back again and paid them the. So this is very unfortunate aspect of it. But I was never humbled by any of these politicians of the country. And I told you that was the reason I read that couplet of Ilama Iqbal last night. Shirkra dar khauf muzmar didas. Har ki ramze mustafa fahmi dast. Who understands this mark of Mustafa? What Mustafa dictates to you? What is Sira tells you? You are never afraid of any of these worldly things. So the same spirit brought me to that I want to do something for the for the poor people of my country. Jazakallah khair. Brigadi sir, it's been an absolute pleasure and honor to have you at the show. And I do want to continue this discussion for another segment, segment inshallah, but we are running out of time. It is so inspirational, ladies and gentlemen. It is so humbling to be with such a, uh, a great scholar. I call him a scholar more than anything else, mashallah, that he brings so much wealth of knowledge to the table that you can learn and continue to dive into this ocean. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enable us to all follow the sunnah of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and give everything that we have to serve the humanity. Until next time, take good care of yourself and one more time. Forget.